all right so uh in this uh, lecture we're gonna see step by step uh, configuration of extent report 4 so 4 uh, is the latest version of uh, extent report as on today so uh, what we are going to cover in this I've, I've actually divided this uh, lecture into two parts in the first part I'll be doing step and uh, step by step configuration of this report, adding all the classes and uh, all the configuration that is required for the report we will be doing. And after this, uh, in the next lecture, I'm going to give you some listeners with the help of those listeners. You should be able to generate uh, the extent reports automatically in any of your automation project right so these extent reports uh, will gonna work for your selenium project for your appium mobile automation project even for uh, uh, like uh, the web services api automation in case you are doing using rest assured or any other java framework uh, these extent reports will gonna work the same way right so uh, let us start with the configuration now I'm going to create a new project over here for extent reports. Uh, I'll name it as, uh, we're going to create a Maven project. Create a simple project. So group ID could be anything, artifact ID, uh, your project name, extend reports for. right and for extent reports we'll need to download the latest dependencies of extent give me a moment so i'll be navigating to this mvn repository.com uh, first we would be needing test ng so test ng 6.14.3 the most stable version as of today and pom.xml file will be adding this let me increase the font size then we'll add uh, the extent reports Simply type extent, you'll see this extent report from here. And uh, you can add the latest version. So copy this and paste it over here. And now let's create a new class. I'll go inside my test package. Create a new package over here name it as test cases and in this uh, create a class you can give it a give it any name let's say uh, test case one and the steps that i'm going to follow right now will gonna remain same for any framework that you're working on be it selenium appium or uh, rest assured right so same same thing will gonna work there there's no change in the implementation of uh, extend report so uh, there are a couple of classes that I'll be adding uh, one is extend HTML reporter <coughs> it's HTML reporter reporter then we have extend reports name it as extend and then extend extent test right and we're going to import these three these three are the most important classes uh, you can import them all together by doing Control shift o right and then uh, in this i'll be adding some of uh, the methods a method for setting up this report set report and this we need to do it at the very beginning so i'm gonna do it inside uh, before test so here uh, what i'll do through this html reporter i'll first define the path of this report so i'll say html reporter equal to new extent html reporter 
and uh, there's a constructor that accepts uh, the path the path of your current project uh, like wherever you want to generate the report you can generate it uh, inside any folder as well uh, as in you can simply say uh, dot reports reports folder and inside it extend dot html so if you're giving dot you are pointing to the root directory root directory as in uh, this root directory under this there will be a report folder that will be generated and inside this you'll have the extent dot html report generated right now a couple other things that uh, we need to configure so that will be configuring with this html reporter reference so i'll say this dot config so config is a method for uh, extend html report configuration and first i'll be setting the encoding to utf8 so this is uh, required and then i'll say html reporter dot config dot set document title so this will give uh, the title to the report i'll say w2a automation reports right you can give any any name uh, over here then i'll say config dot this is the report name that I'm going to set. Uh, sorry. Set report name. And I'll name it as automation test results. And then I'll be defining the theme of this report. So I'll say set theme. Now there are two themes available. One is uh, theme dot uh, theme dot a standard theme or a dark theme right so standard theme will gonna give uh, like a standard layout of uh, a uh, whitish color to the report and dark will be like the black color to the report right so we'll, I'll gonna show it to you how it looks like uh, once the report is generated so first let's uh, uh, add the standard theme itself over here and then I'll say extent equal to new extent reports and then we're gonna add uh, this extent. We're gonna attach the report. We'll say extent dot attach reporter, and in the reporter we're gonna give this HTML reporter, right? So all the configuration we're gonna go to this extent reports, right? So after this we can add some uh, other information to the report if in case we want to add like uh, what is the build number the organization who is the automation test engineer so we can pass on these information to the report by saying extent dot set uh, system info and this is basically a key and a value pair so key is like automation tester and I'll name it as Rahul Arora right i'm going to copy these and add the organization as well so organization and organization i'll name it as way to automation the build number could be any build number like w2a one two three four something like this right so these are the configuration that we need to do while we are setting up the report and same way uh, once the entire report is generated at the end it is very men very much mandatory to uh, flush the report as well so for doing that we're going to do it inside uh, after test so i'll say end report and this is at the rate after test and we'll say extent dot flush right so these are the configurations which are uh, required before we uh, start creating our test cases now in order to add the test cases uh, we can uh, do following things we can uh, pass a test we can fail a test or we can skip a test so for these three areas uh, 
for these three test results, we need to actually generate our, uh, like whenever we run our test cases, either a test will gonna pass or gonna fail or gonna skip. So based on that, we need to uh, report all the logs inside our uh, extend report, right? So first, what I'm gonna do, I'll really quickly uh, create a couple of tests. So maybe I'll name it as the very first test is a do login test at the rate test and I need to uh, like with this uh, test reference over here this is mainly used for test cases defining test cases so I'll say test equal to extent dot create test and here I'll be giving the test name so I'll name it as login test like this and if you want to print something I'll uh, you can simply say executing login test right i'll gonna copy this and create a couple more over here so after uh, login i'll say do user registration and uh, i'll name it as user registration test and here uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fail this test so i'll simply gonna write assert dot fail and uh, user registration test failed and this uh, let's skip this test so i'll name it as is skip skip test right and then we're gonna throw new skip exception and the message we're gonna add is uh, skipping the test case and just import this skip exception right so these are the three tests that we have created the first one will gonna pass the second one will gonna fail and the third one will gonna skip Right. So how to add these uh, status in the report for adding that after every test execution, we need to update the status in the report. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a method which says public void a teardown method. And this should be called after method. So after each test case this method will be called and it will gonna check the status so status of each test and accordingly we're gonna report the logs inside that particular test case so status will be like uh, in this I'm gonna call a class called as I test result so through this through this I test result this is basically inside uh, test ng this is an interface so this interface contain uh, some methods which can get uh, the results of uh, the test case whether it is pass whether it is fail so we can get it with the help of uh, uh, like this i test result uh, interface we simply need to write over here if uh, this result we can get the status get status and say equal to equal to i test result dot failure so if this is equal to failure then it should uh, log uh, the test has failed else if this this is uh, this should be equal to let's say dot skip and then it should be pass so for uh, all three conditions this should be success for the test case what log that we're gonna add let's say uh, for the pass one what i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna write result dot get method i'll be getting this get method will gonna get the 
name of that method right whichever is being uh, passed and uh, I'm gonna store it inside string method name equal to this so this is not gonna get stored because get method return type is some i test ng method so what I'll do I'll get the method name from here right so this is how I can get the method name and then uh, I'll gonna call one of the class called as mark markup from this extend report and I'll say markup helper this is basically a class through which we can do some decoration in our report we can create a label so I'll create a label with uh, some text and the color so color as in I'll say extent color dot green so green is for passing the test case right and then I'll say test dot pass with the same marker right import this marker come control shift o right now this text what i'll be defining i'll be creating a log text over here log text equal to and there is some format that i have already tested uh which should be inside a bold color right I, i'll be creating a small html so name it as test case and add the test case name so i'm gonna get the method name and we're gonna change it to the uppercase right and then after this i'm gonna add some space and we're gonna write past right and then close this bold right and provide this log text over here so this is for the pass test right so let's do one thing for the timing i'm gonna pass all the test and check whether uh, a report is generated for the past test or not right so let's just run this whatever that we have configured so far we need to make sure that everything works fine so i'm going to run it and let's see the results so we have three tests all three are passed now let's refresh it see a report folder is generated and inside it we have extent.html report right if i open this see we have all three test pass so see do user registration pass is skip passed do login passed and see this is what the label that have been generated in the green color right now same thing we're gonna do it for the skip test as well so for the skip one uh, what i'll do i'll uh, just gonna copy this and paste it over here and i'll gonna write over here skipped right and change this to uh let's say yellow color right or could be a decent color right so this is for the skipped one and same thing uh, let's try it for uh, the past one as well uh, the failed one as well and change this to dot skip right so first let's run this for skip and see how it looks and run this run as test ng test three execution one skipped refresh it see one skipped two pass let's go to the skip one and you can see 
this is how it shows in yellow color if you want to change the color code you can easily do that i mean uh, you can just go over here and change it change to a different color right or maybe what we can do we can try changing the theme color uh maybe let's change it to theme dot dark color and let's run this and refresh it now you can see this is how it looks in the dark color right so the yellow color is not very visible so maybe if you can try to change a different color maybe something like a orange sort of thing right so maybe that would gonna look a little more nice over here right now same thing we're gonna do it for uh, the fail scenario so for the fail scenario again copy this and paste it over here now instead of copy pasting this uh, I'll take one quote from my project where I have added a couple more HTML details over here, right? Let me copy this and I'll show it to you and paste it over here. Import everything, right? So everything remains same. Just that uh, I'm adding some additional logs over here so whenever there is a failure i'm actually adding i'm getting the throwable instance i mean uh, the stack trace and going to add it in uh, another uh, there, there would be a link that will be generated if you click on that it will uh, get expand and we're going to show you those detail logs so this is what this uh, exception message is doing so if I uh, enable this uh, assert dot fail now, sorry, let me import this assert and run it as a test and the test. Now we have uh, three tests, one failure, one skip. If I refresh this report now, see this is the failed one you can see this is the view that we're gonna get so if you exp click on this it will expand and show you the detail assertion logs right so this is how it, it should gonna work right and now if if in case uh, you are working on selenium or appium in this uh, failure over here you can write another uh, log for let's say capturing a screenshot right you can capture a screenshot and paste it over here as well right so uh, in uh, like in case you are a part of a selenium course uh, like i've already uh, added this thing into my extent lectures in the extent report three so same thing you can use it over here as well or maybe what i'll do uh, because for API testing, uh, in case you are following this lecture in the API testing course, then in API, we don't have a UI, so we never capture a screenshot, right? But in case you are following Selenium or Appium lectures, then I'm going to add a code uh, over here that you can use, and that will going to help you in uh, capturing screenshots in case of a failure. So that will always going to generate a unique uh, screenshot for you. So for the listeners, I'm going to add it from... Uh, Sorry, uh, this I'm gonna add it from one of my live project, and the code should look something like this. Yeah, you just need to add this piece of code. So this is where uh, like capturing of screenshot will be done, right? So create a method for capture screenshot, create a screenshot over here, and then pass it uh, to the fail log. And with this media and 
HTT builder class call the method create screen uh, capture from path and get the screenshot path and paste it over here right this is what that you need to do and whenever there is a failure in your test uh, it will going to capture a screenshot and will uh, attach it to a log over here so after uh, this log in the next line you're going to see a screenshot embedded over here right so this is how uh, like you can uh, generate extent reports step by step but we have done everything in in like one single class right whenever we are working in a project in a framework uh, we should be keeping all these things in different utilities so in the next lecture i'm going to show you uh, like uh, some extent uh, uh, listener classes that i have created so we need not to write this code again and again in each and every class we can just put it in our listener classes and we also need not to worry about creating a test each and every time whenever we uh, create add the rate test we create a test method every time we need not to worry about writing this line right because if there are let's say 500 test cases we'll be manually adding this uh, uh, test again and again right so instead of doing that we can achieve it through uh, the test engine listeners as well so that is what we're gonna uh, see it in the next lecture but this is what uh, the extent report configuration is all about so i'll be sharing you the code just try this code and uh, see if you are able to generate extent report easily with this code all right thank you